Hey gang, Scott Davenport here. I've got a tip for you today about using the bleach bypass filter to add contrast to a scene. It's a little bit of a different look than some of the other contrast tools in On One. Really quick, I want to let you know about Field to Frame. It's a new video course. I partnered with On One to put this together. It takes you through the entire photographic process from vision and planning through field work, culling, editing, and finally printing a work. Hope you'll check it out. Links are below the video. Now, for bleach bypass, I have this photo here uh, captured at a ceiling in a temple in Kyoto, Japan. You can see I've done my standard contrast type of stuff with dynamic contrast. Then I added this bleach bypass filter. I'm going to turn this off. You see how the, the blacks, the dark background, is kind of a bit washed out. It's a bit gray. Let me just add a new bleach bypass filter so you can see how I built up this look. So very first thing, before and after, you can see it's really, really strong, right? It's, it's a little overpowering. So let's open these controls here. First thing was backing things off a little bit and just toning it down some. Second was using the masking options to target that richness, that contrast, to just the darker tones. Easy way to do that is with the luminosity mask. I'll click it once. It will target the bright areas, masking things away from the dark areas, invert it, and now I'm hitting those darker areas. So as I pull this all the way down and go all the way back up, really only those very deep blacks and dark grays are getting the full impact of this bypass filter before and after. So that's bleach bypass. It actually has a lot of other options. You can do tinting and toning and things like it with uh, with this tool. And it's a really nice way to direct contrast to darker, brighter areas, uh, but also um, just in a way that's a little different than some of the other tools. It's not adding as much crispness as you might see in, say, dynamic contrast or detail enhancement in the tone enhancer. Hope you found this useful. Got questions? Drop them below. Check out Field to Frame. I think you're really going to like it. And I'll see you again real soon. Have fun.